Welcome everybody to this week's edition of Valpo Football Preview along with head coach Dave Cicchini. This is Todd Eichow. Uh, final home game of the season coming up against Moorhead State. We'll take a look back at the, the Hoosier Helmet game and, and, a, and again a game against Butler which we've seen over the last month able to play with a team for a half. Looks good at the end of the second quarter. Again, another touchdown before halftime but unfortunately unable to carry over to the third right. quarter. Right. You know, it's the same story that, that's been going on. We, we come out of the half uh, we receive the second half kickoff, feeling good. Uh, we get poor field position to start. We have a penalty, one of the only of the two penalties I think we had in the game, put us first and long. We were unable to dig out of that hole. We get a bad punt and give them great field yeah. position. And, and then uh, from that point off, we just the wheels came off and we threw two interceptions, returned for touchdowns. And and uh, there were some good moments throughout the game, and, and we, we made improvement in, in several areas. Uh, but any time you throw two interceptions that get returned for touchdowns, it, it's, it's very difficult to win a football game. Dave, do you think being the youngest team in the league, and a lot of that has had to do with, with some injuries, is put, you know, take juniors and seniors out, you mm -hmm. put freshmen in, it makes right. you even, even younger. Uh, unable to sustain things for four quarters, some of that is still learning? Oh, sure. Yeah, it's a combination of several factors. I mean, the physical aspect of the game, uh, you know, our players kind of get worn down physically as they're going up against bigger, older, stronger guys. Uh, but a lot of that, just that mental focus, being able to, you know, freshmen, that's, that's kind of their MO. It's, it's they're going to look great when they're talented, but they're not going to be able to consistently give you that performance. Uh, they'll get better over time. Uh, how quickly freshmen mature, you know, some guys get it right away and they're, and they're special players. And then we have a couple of those. Some guys show flashes, but it's only half of the time or, or three quarters of the time or 60% of the time, whatever it is. Uh, and we're making plays, and, and when our guys are out there executing, we're doing some really good things. It's just that when those breakdowns do occur, um, some of them tend to be catastrophic. On a positive note, Scott Stahl did come in in the fourth mm -hmm. quarter, and he looked pretty sharp. Yep. Yeah. Uh, I don't know how you assess the quarterback situation going into this week, but... But could he play? Yes, absolutely. You know, Scott uh, is, has been such a reliable backup over the last two years, and he's gotten his chances to get into games. And, and when he's uh, gotten in, he's done some good things. And, and certainly coming in in relief uh, for Ryan, he was able to move the ball down and, and, and get us uh, a drive for a score in the fourth quarter, which was good. And, and uh, so absolutely, we're, we're looking at uh, getting him uh, some playing time, you know, this being his final uh, home game, uh, he may get the starting nod here this week. All right, well, that is something we will keep an eye on throughout the course of the week, and we'll certainly find out on Saturday. You look ahead of the game on Saturday, it's a Moorhead team uh, that you'd say you look at the numbers, they appear to be the most improved team in the league this right. year, and um, still scoring a lot of points. Uh, they've been better on defense this year, yes, right? absolutely. New uh, defensive scheme and, and very well coached on defense now, playing with an awful lot of confidence. Uh, they've always had that high-powered scoring offense. Their quarterback is, is one of the best uh, in the league, and, and they're throwing the ball for over 300 yards a game. They've got a uh, num number of dangerous wide receivers, uh, threats on the perimeter. Uh, and uh, But in, in the past, they've gotten beat by teams just outscoring them, and, and uh, that, that's not happening as often this year. Their defense has tightened up, and, and uh, they're doing a great job. Uh, and uh, that's going to be the, the, the area where... You know, if we're going to have to, to uh, be able to slow these guys down, we're still going to have to step up and play. We were able to score a lot of points against them a year ago, uh, but this defense is vastly improved. Uh, we talked about this a week ago. you got to win the turnover battle. And, and when you, when you, you know, you're shorthanded and, and uh, you're in an underdog situation, certainly winning the turnover right. battle is crucial. If you had won the turnover battle on Saturday, right. the outcome may have been different. Absolutely. You get 14 points up and you didn't have any takeaways, which right. has been unusual. you got to take the football away on yes. Saturday. Right? Right. There's no question. I mean, if you look, uh, again, take a step back at the, the Butler game, statistically, if you take the turnovers out and just look at the yards of offense that each uh, team were able to gain, it was nearly identical. Same amount, of first downs play, same amount of first downs, third down conversions, almost identical. So uh, the big deal there was was the turnovers, and uh, the turnovers uh, not only led to two scores, but also was a big factor in the uh, field position that both teams were able to start. We started with the worst starting field position of, of the season. Uh, you know, we had three drives inside our own five-yard line uh, that we started, and, and almost all... Um, uh, of their punts, well, every single one of their punts was, was down inside the 20, and, and, and several of their kickoffs uh, we started inside our 20. So, so those are the two big things that we're focusing on this week is to continue to try to 
uh, hold on to the football on offense, take better care of it, generate some momentum changes by getting turnovers, whether it's in the special teams game uh, or on defense, and then win that field possession you know, uh, battle. You know, where we, we get uh, uh, a starting field position that's greater than the team that we're playing. That's going to help us, particularly with a young offense who we're just not right now ca uh, capable of going out and having those long, sustained right. drives. Maybe one a game, two or three a game, but are we able to go and put it in the end zone five or six times from 75 yards or longer? That's really difficult for us right now. Right. Well, good luck on Saturday, final home game. We wish you the best. Thank you. For head coach Dave Cicchini, this is Todd Eichel. Thanks for joining us this week on Valpo Football Preview.